be covering combinations today. In combinations, it is when a selection of objects in which order is not important, which is different than what we covered on Tuesday, permutation order is very important. So a fruit salad. This is a case where order is not important. You cut out the fruit and you throw it in there. It's still a fruit salad no matter how you mix it up. But thinking of food, something that I would decide as permutation would be like banana pudding. You gotta put the vanilla wafers, the pudding, the bananas, the cool whip, and you have to layer it. So the order is important how you make the banana pudding. So that would be an example of permutation versus fruit salad combination. All right, so just a reminder, a locker combination should really be called a locker permutation. We talked about that the other day because the order you put the number in, numbers in matters. A true locker combination would accept both 10, 17, 23, and 23, 17, and 10, for example. But a locker combination really should be called locker permutation, not a locker combination. All right, so this is the combination formula. Fortunately, our calculators can do this for us. So you just have to go to the probability button as well, just like you did for factorials and permutation, and now you'll see this one in CR, which stands for the combination computation. Your N is still the total number in your group, and your R is still the number you are choosing. So let's just do some examples together. There are 28 students in your math class. Your teacher chooses five students at random to complete a group project. So the total amount in your group is 28. The amount that is being chosen for the group project would be 5. So we look at this as the order would not matter at all in this case. It's just a combination of the people that she's choosing, the students she's choosing in her class. So we are using combination. We can plug this in our calculator. 28, go to the probability button, go to NCR, and then 5 you should be getting an answer of 98,280. Pause this video, try your calculator, and make sure you get this answer. All right, another example I wanna walk through is your school pictures. You can choose from four backgrounds from a list of 10 backgrounds. How many combinations of backdrops are possible? Okay, so your N is 10 and your R is 4. So you go and plug in 10 in CR 4 in your calculator. Try it. Make sure you can get the same answer I'm getting of 210. So you have to stop and think in this example. Why are we doing combinations? Well, because the order is not important which background you choose first. You're just choosing four backgrounds total. Examples, 
combinations is short and sweet. The most important part is you can decide, am I using permutation or am I using combination? All right, we have a Delta Math assignment to go back and forth and practice both combination and permutation. Thanks, y'all.